Welcome to my YouTube channel at Movies Nutshell. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Tyler Rake retires from mercenary work and moves into an Austrian cabin after barely making it through his previous job in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Events of Extraction 1 When Tyler Rake was shot and fell into the river, continue in Extraction 2. His body washes up on the coast, where Nick's agents pick it up. Tyler contentedly retires in a secluded area away from the rest of the world, but he is quickly summoned back into service. A strange, dapper man named Alcott arrives at Tyler's cabin with a request from Mia, Tyler's ex-wife. There, he is asked to rescue his ex-wife Mia's sister Kedavan and her two children Sandro and Nina, so he start training to get himself fit for the extraction. He then contacted Nick and Yaz to join in the operation. We find out Mia's sister, Kedavan, is in deep trouble with her husband, David. Kedavan married David Radiani, one of the co-founders of the largest criminal syndicate in Georgia. After David threw a DA agent off the bridge, he is imprisoned and unable to bribe his way out due to the pressure from the Americans. Kedavan and her children were forced to move into the prison by David who wants to be close to his family but the bad living conditions and David's abuse caused Kedavan to call Mia for help. Meanwhile, Zurab, David's brother, is informed by a governor on his payroll that his brother's sentence is extended to 10 years. Zurab asks the governor to release his brother but the governor refuses since he does not want the Americans to go after him. Enraged, Zurab kills the governor and his men. Tyler recruits Nick and Yaz to join him and they infiltrate the prison. Tyler's job is to extract Kedavan and his kids from the prison. But in the process, David alerts the prisoners, who start a riot. During the extraction, David attacks Tyler and Kedavan, resulting in Tyler having to kill him. Tyler and Kedavan are forced to fight their way through the riot but manage to escape to their safe house in Vienna. En route to Vienna, where Nick and her team prepare authentic visas for the family, Sandro faces a big conflict. He has a satellite phone in his hand which he can use to inform his uncle Zurab of their whereabouts. Alternatively, he can trust his mother's word that David, his father, was a controlling monster of a man and that joining Nagazzi, their criminal gang, would be a bad life decision. However, Sandro, who idolizes his father, secretly contacts his uncle and reveals their location. Zurab and his men track down Tyler and the team to the safe house. Soon enough Zurab and his men arrive at their location. Tyler and the rest of the team are outnumbered and pinned from both sides by the Nagazzi. Zurab and his men have come prepared to handle any situation they face, with organized planning to handle such events as the police showing up. Kedavan scolds her son for endangering his own family and naiveness. In the chaos, an intense battle is fought throughout the building as the escape attempt by Tyler fails. Kedavan and Nina are trapped with Tyler and the team. Sandro escapes from their protection and heads towards the back alley where he has asked Zurab to pick him up. Yaz is the only one who chases Sandro and he gets shot in the process. He still manages to survive, for now. The team takes one of Zurub's helicopters to escape. Tyler apologizes to Mia for leaving on a mission before their son died from cancer. Meanwhile, of Tandil, Zurub's right-hand man and uncle, encourages Zurub to abandon his revenge due to staggering loss of their men and set a better example for his nephew. Enraged, Zurub kills of Tandil and contacts Tyler, telling him to meet at the nearby airfield. He leaves Nick alone at the cabin and is prepared to die if it means he will finish the job. Tyler's explosive entrance takes apart Zurub's preparations. He makes sure no vehicles or planes are left in a usable condition as he wants Zurub and his mercenaries to be brought to justice. In the final showdown, we see Zurub has attached an explosive device to Sandro's body. Tyler finds Zurub and Sandro in the church, with Sandro wearing an explosive vest. Zurub forces Sandro to take Tyler's pistol. But Sandro, having realized his mistake and what kind of people his father and uncle really are, refuses to shoot Tyler. Nick reaches the spot but Zurub is attentive to it. Through Sandro's own enterprise, he is able to give Nick and Tyler a chance to take Zurub down. Nick is shot multiple times and lies wounded as Tyler and Zurub get involved in a cutthroat and bloody battle. Tyler is able to come out on top when he kills Zurub after their long-drawn fight as police swarm the church. In the aftermath, Tyler and Nick are arrested and imprisoned. Mia comes to meet Tyler in the prison. We learn Kedavan and her two children have gone into witness protection, as they brokered a deal with the Americans in exchange for information on the Nagazzi's dealings. Ehler tells her to give them $1 million cash which he had hidden under the third floorboard back in the fireplace in his cabin when Mia points out that their assets were frozen by the police. 
she tells Tyler that their son died with good memories of him, that his son saw him as a hero, putting his mind to rest and bids Tyler farewell for good. All cop breaks Tyler of prison, not through force but through the sheer display of power. Tyler is transported out of prison to meet with the Alcott from the beginning, who came with another job. Tyler won't accept without Nick, only to find that the stranger has already brought Nick along, knowing Tyler wouldn't go without her. Please let us know in the comments section what movies you would want us to recap, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.